I love owning my own business. It's one of the gnarliest things I've ever done, but it's also the most rewarding thing. And I'm hungry for more and I cannot wait to just continue to spread this awareness and be there for people. Uh, my name is Melissa and I'm the proud owner of Plants by Yours Truly. We are an interior plant design retail store that focuses on positive mental health. My business started at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, I found a really healthy outlet with, you know, walking through nurseries, creating plant combos for just neighbors and, you know, people just to put a smile on their face. Um, three years later, here I am with my third store um, and I'm very excited and very proud of myself. It's kind of ironic because I suffer from imposter syndrome where I'm not completely proud with what I've done. I'm thirsty for more. I want more. I want to do more. I want to change the world. I'm here to definitely make a difference in this world and I see myself in the next year to two years hopefully opening a store like this concept of a sustainable and plant store and mental health um, almost in every state. Some of the best healing aspects about owning my company is um, just actually working with the plants in general. Um, there's actual little microorganisms in the soil that produce dopamine. And that is just amazing little hits that we need. Um, also, it's very zen and soothing. Um, I have tons of clients that, you know, have me design wide spaces of plants and they hire me to come in, but they also do it with me because just caring for their plant and their plant growing and the plant basically loving them back really gives them a boost of that little extra self-confidence that they need or that little self-love that they've kind of been lacking in other aspects of their life. What brings my peace is um, I'm way more in tune and self-aware with my trauma as a child, even as a young adult, even as you know, a woman in her late 30s. Um, I do a lot of inner work. I do hypnotherapy. I do cranial sacral. Um, I do trauma therapy. I think just being more aware. Um, I used to be kind of, you know, catty and rude and impatient, and I'm just more in tune with myself and I treat people the way that I wanted to be treated. For me, the last year and a half, you know, building my business, opening a new store, and just hitting a wall just for myself personally and just being like, having crazy intrusive thoughts, you know, things that I just would never ever think of. And I thought, what's wrong with me? What am I doing wrong? What's happening? And for people, I think people have to hit those suicidal thoughts. They have to hit those intrusive thoughts, you know, or people that suffer from PTSD or postpartum depression, you know, after having a baby, it takes people hitting their walls to be like, I need help, to feel comfortable to ask for help. Um, the way that I find myself in regards to how social media dictates how women today or just people in general have to be, um, I think it takes a lot of thick skin in order to kind of look past it. Um, for me, um, I'm very social media driven. I make tons of content every week and you just kind of have to, this is so silly, but you have to block out the haters. I, as an individual, wouldn't have not grown if I just put my blinders on in regards to any negativity or had to listen to these, you know, Instagram ads, get Botox, get fillers, like I'm 100% natural. And I think just the lifestyle that I have and the positive mental health that I have is what really keeps me youthful. And, you know, I cannot let all of that affect me. I would love women to take away the fact that they are very strong and them loving themselves gives them that power to be able to do anything that they want. Ladies, if you want to start your own business one foot in front of the other, there's going to be some days where you take a few steps back, but try not to be discouraged. One deep breath at a time. Um, consistency is key. It could be tons of stuff done in one day, or it could be just one post-it note of a positive affirmation. Just keep pushing forward and just remind yourself that you're doing great. Don't let inner noise, you know, affect you and your decisions. Like you can do this and I'm really proud of you.